So I have a mic now. That means these videos are getting really serious. This is the real deal. No more of the lav mics. No more. Of the, there's actually a mic right here. You can't see it because of camera magic. But yeah, we're taking these to the next level. I have a microphone now. Uh, but this video is not about microphones. It is about what Angelo Ferrari said into a microphone, connected them, yesterday with David Bray, announcing his commitment to the University of Iowa. Now, this is huge. And there was, there was so much just in this little moment in time. There was so much juice. So many interesting things happened over the course of Angelo Ferrari's commitment. Now, if you haven't heard, if you're under a rock, something like that, it's okay. Angelo Ferrari announced he's going to Iowa. He's going to be an Iowa Hawkeye. Obviously, huge, huge news. Obviously, great news for Iowa fans as Angelo looks every bit of the real deal. What he did last, last year at Who's Number One was fantastic. Beats Joe Seeley, a really, really tough kid. And also, from a synergy perspective for Iowa, where they have an, a need weight at 184 or 74, depending, he fits perfectly there. Now, I'll get, I'll get into that dynamic. There's a, there's a few huge nuggets I want to get into. There's the Angelo nugget, there's Anthony, and then there's AJ. We'll just kind of go through it all in order. And I think it gets actually, interestingly, more fascinating as we go. So Angelo fits really, really well because wherever Gabe Arnold doesn't go or wherever he goes, Gabe can go the other one. So if Gabe's a 74, which I think Gabe will be and should be, I think Angelo fits really well as a, as a 184 pounder. I think his, he's growing. He's going to be big enough. I think a lot of the other schools that recruited him were recruiting him as an 84, and that's probably also the case for, for Iowa as well. So he fits a need weight. He's a superstar talent. He's a guy that I think can win national titles during his career for, for Iowa. But there's, there's way more interesting stuff than that. One, the, the needling of, uh, of Angelo, a, a Penn State, I thought was, uh, dare I say, a bold strategy. Interesting. Surprising. Uh, a lot of people think they know where I'm going, but i like to announce my commitment. <laughs> University of Iowa. Wow. Yeah. You know, because Penn State is so head and shoulders above the, the, the field right now, right? And this is sort of a theme we've seen with these young up-and-coming Hawkeyes, right? Angelo throws the Penn State hat. Gabe Arnold, after Starachi beats Brands uh, by a point, says, I'm not impressed, right? They're kind of going out of their way to not so subtly needle the, the best team in America right now, Penn State. So it's notable. Now, if you're, I saw Stanley's had a tweet, to, Kale has 24 hours to respond, which I thought was a hilarious tweet. But it's even funnier when you think about, you know, Penn State just really doesn't engage this kind of thing, right? Other than Starachi, who talks enough trash for, for all 10 of the starters and then some. So I wouldn't expect a, a response of any kind. I mean, they, they kind of, for right now, they just have the scoreboard response, which they're, they're for next year, they're going to be the runaway favorites. So Angelo, great get for the Hawks and, and joining his brother, Anthony, who's already there. And David also talked with, with Anthony yesterday where he didn't want to be too specific. You know, the coaches, I think they want a lot of his plans under wrap. But broadly, he said, you could see me anywhere from 149 to 165, which is interesting because at 49, they just brought in Victor Voinovich. 57, they have returning NCAA qualifier Kobe Sim Siebricht. 65, they've got Kennedy. But between those three weights, th th there's no All-Americans there. So I'm curious to see where he can slot in. And, and another thing I, was, I, I didn't realize, because Anthony last year would have technically been his freshman year. This is actually his first year eligibility-wise. So he has a red shirt available, and he has four years of eligibility. So he's got five, five left. Now, his opinion is he, he would prefer to wrestle right away. But obviously, he knows that's in the coach's hands. It's going to be, it's going to be their decision, ultimately. Um, but what he did say is that thinking about the Iowa State duel, he would love to wrestle in the Iowa State duel, and he wants to wrestle Cody Chittum. If you don't remember, you can go back to our previous video where we talked about Cody Chittum, who was at Iowa, who was in the Hawkeye Wrestling Club, was an Iowa commit a couple weeks ago, made the decision to go from Iowa to Iowa State. So now Anthony Ferrari says, yeah, I want that match. But... The most interesting dynamic was something that wasn't even discussed in the press conference. It wasn't really um, fully in the conversation is this AJ Ferrari dynamic. Now, AJ, I think it's safe to say AJ is in, in hot water 
to, to some degree, he is in uh, a, a legal situation with really serious charges that are still, that is still pending. That, that situation is still hanging over the head of AJ Ferrari. There's no resolution there at this point. So you've got Angelo saying, I, I think it's, it's probably very likely that we would see a, me join AJ at Iowa, that AJ would join me rather. Right. He's saying it's pretty likely Anthony's, you know, alluding to it. And then what, what I thought was the most interesting. And honestly, I was surprised to see this Hawkeye wrestling club just straight up said it. They basically said it. We're going after AJ Ferrari. We want AJ Ferrari. I didn't say it that literally, but they said after they, they quoted the, the Ferrari Angelo commitment and they, they tweeted and our guy Tyler will edit this into the video. So you're looking at it right now. But it says, our garage is filling up. I think we have room for one more. And the three race car emojis, three Hawk emojis, it's not hard to put it together. They're going after, they want AJ Ferrari, which from a wrestling perspective makes a lot of sense, right? This is an NCAA champion. And when you talk about synergy from from a lineup perspective, 197 is a huge need weight. Uh, doing the math on paper, it would seem like AJ probably has three years of eligibility remaining. Now, I don't know where he's at with with schooling and, and, and everything since I don't believe he's been enrolled in, in any school, but he may have been. So I don't know how that will play in, but regardless, he fits a need weight for Iowa. That, that, is, that can't be denied. His other two brothers are there. If he returns to wrestling, it would stand to reason it will be at Iowa, but I was just surprised to hear, you know, Angel say, hey, it's, it's probably probably likely I was surprised to see the Hawkeye wrestling club be as so overt to say, yeah, we got Angelo and we want AJ. They didn't say that verbatim, but they said it. They for sure said it. So that'll be a dynamic to watch. And there's no, there's no resolution there. There's no clarity around AJ's situation. And what I was doing is, is, is curious. It's interesting because they're, they're getting, they're going all in on the Ferrari business. And we know that the Ferraris can win a lot of wrestling matches. And, um, but they're counting on something to happen that, to this point, has, has not really happened for the Ferraris during their, their wrestling careers. And that's them staying at one place for four or five years. It just hasn't happened. You know, they started at Allen High School, then Blair, then Bergen Catholic, then back to Allen, then Stillwater High School, okay? Melissa, Texas. Now they're at Iowa. So this has been uh, a crew on the move for some time now. So what Coach Brands and, and, and the Hawks are, are banking on is that, you know, they can get all three, get them in the lineup, and keep them there and keep them productive for, for the Hawks. And we, just, we haven't seen that yet, but you can understand why when, when you look at the, the national landscape, when you look at what Penn State's doing, these are the kind of decisions that, that you can understand why why Coach Brands is making them. And, and I feel, you know, lumping in Angelo. Angelo is a Ferrari, but, you know, to, to this day, he's been nothing but a, a, a model kid, high school wrestler, superstar, very respectful kid. So uh, I know he, he gets lumped in because they're, they're his brothers. But to, at this point, Angelo has been nothing but um, the, the real deal on and off the mat. But I think there's a lot of reasons to be excited if you're, if you're an Iowa Hawkeye fan because you are getting – a national champion caliber talent and there's a possibility there's more on the way